Picture this. It's 1972, and the living room is bathed in the warm glow of a boxy television set. The unmistakable jingle of the Sanford and Sun-themed song fills the air, and you find yourself drawn into the world of Fred G. Sanford and his son, Lamont. That first encounter with the classic TV series is etched into the annals of your memory. The antics of Fred, the junkard patriarch with a penchant for witty zingers, and Lamont, the eye-rolling voice of reason, created a comedic duo that transcended the screen. Remember those uproarious moments when Fred, with his signature hand on his chest, would fake a heart attack to avoid unwanted chores. Or perhaps it was Lamont's exasperated sighs in the face of his father's harebrained schemes that left an indelible mark on your laughter-loving soul. Sanford and Son was more than a sitcom. It was a comedic symphony that played out in the cluttered aisles of a junkyard. Now, let's dive into the treasure trove of random facts about this timeless gem. Did you know that the show was actually based on the British sitcom Steptoe and Son? The transatlantic transplant proved to be a stroke of genius, blending humor and heart with a distinctly American flavor. And speaking of flavor, Red Fox, who portrayed Fred, was renowned for his raunchy stand-up comedy, a stark contrast to the lovable grump we all came to adore. As we unravel the layers of Sanford and Son's legacy, y'all discover the surprising fact that it wasn't an instant hit. It took a bit of time for this comedic masterpiece to find its audience, but once it did, there was no turning back. The junkyard wasn't just a heap of discarded treasures, it was a stage where the magic of laughter unfolded. So, sit back and journey with us through the anecdotes and quirks that make Sanford and Son a timeless classic. Get ready to rediscover the humor that resonates across generations, bridging the gap between the 70 seconds and today. It's a journey filled with laughter, heart, and a touch of vintage charm a journey into the world of Sanford and Son, where every piece of junk has a story to tell. And now, without further ado, let's uncover the hidden gems of Sanford and Son. Sanford and Son, a groundbreaking television series that premiered in 1972, emerged as a cultural phenomenon that left an indelible mark on the landscape of American sitcoms. Created by Norman Lear and based on the British series Steptoe and Son, the show centered around the cantankerous yet endearing junk dealer, Fred Sanford, portrayed by the legendary Red Fox. Set in the Watts neighborhood of Los Angeles, the series broke new ground by featuring an African-American cast in leading roles, offering a refreshing departure from conventional sitcom norms. The heart of Sanford and Son lay in the dynamic relationship between Fred Sanford and his son, Lamont, as they navigated the challenges of running a junkyard and the comical intricacies of their generational gap. Fox's impeccable comedic timing and Wilson's straight man foil created a duo that resonated with audiences, making their characters iconic in television history. The show's humor often derived from Fred's exaggerated feigning of heart attacks and his relentless pursuit of get-rich-quick schemes, providing a distinctive comedic style that set it apart from its contemporaries. Beyond its entertainment value, Sanford and Son played a pivotal role in breaking racial barriers on television, portraying African-American characters in a diverse range of roles that transcended stereotypes. The show's success paved the way for greater diversity in the television landscape inspiring future generations of creators to explore a broader spectrum of stories and characters. With a successful six-season run, Sanford and Son left an enduring legacy, influencing subsequent sitcoms and becoming a cultural touchstone. The series remains celebrated for its humor, social commentary, and groundbreaking representation, proving that laughter knows no racial boundaries. Sanford and Son wasn't just a sitcom, it was a cultural landmark that challenged norms and made an indelible impact on the fabric of American television. In the 1972 TV series Sanford and Son, Red Fox, and Whitman Mayo portrayed characters well into their 60s. However, during the show's original production, Fox was in his late 40s, and Mayo was in his early 40s. To maintain the illusion of age, both actors had to don makeup and use hair coloring to appear older than their actual years. In the second episode of the series, viewers learn that Lamont's middle name is Grady. But, in a surprising twist during season six seconds episode titled The Lucky Streak, Fred Sanford reveals that Lamont is his middle name. According to Fred, he doesn't have a first name because he and Elizabeth never got around to giving him one, adding a quirky layer to the character's dynamic. 
the theme song of Sanford and Son, often associated with the show's energetic opening credits, is officially titled The Street Beater. The song was written by the legendary Quincy Jones, contributing to the memorable and iconic vibe of the series. So, while Sanford and Son entertained audiences with its humor and unique characters, behind the scenes, the actors navigated age transformations, and the characters themselves held surprising naming secrets. And let's not forget the infectious beat of the street beater that still resonates with fans today. The financial woes of Red Fox on Sanford and Son in the world of the 1972 TV series Sanford and Son, the financial struggles of lead actor Red Fox were no laughing matter. According to producer Bud Yorkin, Fox's generosity with his money often left him in debt. When the coffers ran dry, Fox took an unconventional approach to remedy the situation. In a peculiar twist, Fox would inform the show's producers that he was ailing and that his doctor had diagnosed him with insufficient nutrition. The prescribed cure, making more money. It's a unique glimpse into the financial dynamics behind the scenes of the hit sitcom, as Fox, in a bid to alleviate his debts, used a fabricated health concern to prompt the need for increased earnings. The financial tightrope Fox walked is a testament to the complexities that can arise behind the curtain of a beloved television show. It sheds light on the often overlooked business side of the entertainment industry, where even a star like Red Fox faced the pressures of financial strain. While Sanford and Son may have portrayed the humorous antics of Fred Sanford and his son Lamont, Fox's real-life financial juggling act adds a layer of depth to the show's history. It serves as a reminder that, for all the laughter on screen, the entertainment business is not immune to the challenges that come with managing money. It's a fascinating chapter in the story of Sanford and Son, showcasing the lengths Fox went to keep the show running and the dollars flowing. Beyond the scripted humor, the off-screen struggles provide a unique perspective on the economics of television in the early 1970s. So, the next time you enjoy an episode of Sanford and Son, remember the financial tightrope walked by Red Fox, whose off-screen challenges added a layer of complexity to the on-screen hilarity. This has been a glimpse into the financial struggles of Red Fox, the man who brought Fred Sanford to life on Sanford and Son. It's a reminder that even in the world of comedy, reality can sometimes be no laughing matter. As we bid adieu to the memories encapsulated within the 1972 TV series Sanford and Son, take a moment to ponder the resonance it has within your own tapestry of experiences. Like the timeless treasures lurking in the Sanford junkyard, this show has weathered the sands of time, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of television history. As the final credits roll, I invite you to excavate the corridors of your mind, unearthing the moments when laughter echoed through your living room, courtesy of Fred G. Sanford's witty one-liners or Lamont's exasperated eye rolls. Perhaps it's the undeniable chemistry between the characters, or the unmistakable rhythm of the show's heartbeat that lingers in your thoughts. In the spirit of Sanford and Son's camaraderie, let's turn this into a collective experience. Share your favorite memories, the scenes that etched a smile on your face, or the episodes that pulled at your heartstrings. Whether it's the eclectic array of junk salvaged by Fred or the ever-faithful presence of Esther, let your reflections intertwine with the rich narrative woven by this iconic series. Your thoughts are the bricks that fortify the legacy of Sanford and Son. Like an open treasure chest of memories, let's celebrate the diversity of experiences that this show has sparked across the years. Share your anecdotes, insights, and musings as we create a communal space where the spirit of Sanford and Son lives on. Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane with us and for sharing the laughter, the lessons, and the love that this series has imparted. Your unique perspective adds yet another layer to the narrative of Sanford and Son, making it a mosaic of shared connections and cherished moments. In the grand theater of nostalgia, your voice is a vital chord resonating through time. Until we meet again in the realms of shared reminiscences, thank you for your time and unwavering interest.